here's a bit of an update um, before the video that you've selected plays. Um, there was uh, some recent news about the Warhammer 40k amp, and uh, it kind of changed the content of the video a little bit. Uh, basically, uh, I just saw that uh, Games Workshop has uh, reduced the price on their Warhammer 40k app. Uh, there's an article on uh, Warhammer community, but to be honest, that's not where I heard it. I heard it from uh, one of the few uh, Warhammer 40k channels I follow on YouTube. Um, Uh, Auspic Tactics is the name of the channel. Uh, it's a very informative channel. If you don't already take a look at it, I recommend it. It uh, keeps you up to date, and uh, it's really good content. Uh, much better content than I make. Uh, but uh, it looks like, uh, like I said, the the price went down, and it changes the value proposition quite a bit. It went from uh, four ninety nine, five dollars a month. Uh, U.S. dollars to half that, so 250 a month. Uh, so uh, the rest of the value proposition hasn't changed. So it still does all the stuff that it does, and it still has uh, some of the limitations that it has. Uh, but like I said, it changes the value proposition. Uh, $30 a month is very different from $60. I'm sorry, $30 a year versus $60 a year. It's kind of a big deal, and uh, it might change your minds for some of us who decided, well, it's a decent app, not $60 a year decent. Uh, $30 a year, I might find some more takers. So uh, with that said, um, yeah, this isn't meant to be a news channel. It's a channel uh, for people who uh, are new to the hobby, and they're kind of testing the waters. Uh, but... Um, the 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 this video wasn't scheduled to uh, go live for a couple of more days, uh, but since there's news about it, I decided it made sense to bring it forward a little bit. Uh, so I'm publishing it as soon as I edit the the original video. Uh, so if you're seeing it now, I rushed to get this done. So anyway, take a look at the video if you're curious about the Warhammer 40k app to see what it can do. Um, I've never used um, an application like this, uh, so I've never. I know of Battle Scribe. I've never used Battle Scribe, um, so if I can pick it up, you can too. Uh, so don't be afraid of the potential complexities because, you know, I've been doing Warhammer 40k for just a little bit, a couple of months now, and uh, I picked it up. It was intuitive enough for me to use. Um, so don't be afraid uh, of the app. For that reason. There's plenty of other reasons to make decisions one way or the other, but the complexity shouldn't be your deciding factor. Uh, anyway, uh, enjoy the video. I hope that you learned something. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to find them out for you. Peace. Since you're clicking on this video, I suspect you are fully aware of the idea that there is a an application uh, published by Games Workshop that will help you build your army. Um, and so maybe you've thought about getting it, maybe you've debated it, or maybe you have tried it. Uh, and so, uh, I don't know, maybe you're interested in taking a look at it and see what you can do with the app. Is it worth getting? Is it really buggy? Can you do what you need to do? Um, yeah, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Army building is a uh, you know it's part and parcel of the Warhammer 40k uh, hobby. Yeah, you know a lot of us um, do this hobby because we intend to you know maybe not regularly or at least occasionally get out uh, into public and uh, meet your fellow nerds and do some pretend shooting uh, at each other's armies. Uh, that's part of the game. Um, well, it's part of the hobby. And even for those of us, kind of like me, who's probably going to just stick to painting and, you know, the occasional kit bash or what have you, um, it's useful to know what your army should look like, right? So that you don't have 30 eradicators and go, oh, there it is. There's my Death Watch 
squad, or there's my Death Watch army. No, it's not really an army. It's just 30 Death Watch um, uh, eradicators. Um, the app is going to help um, kind of streamline the, the process. Here's the kicker, though. It's $5 a month. I think there's like a free introductory period. And $5 in, in many contexts, including the Games Workshop context. It doesn't seem like a lot of money. And, you know, but depending on who you are and what your situation is, it might be uh, a lot of money, especially because $5 over 12 months is $60. And you need a codex. I mean, you don't need need it, but to get full use out of the app, you need to have bought a, a, a hardback codex or a codex and or some of the supplements. Register them with Games Workshop. Say, hey, look, this is the one that I got. Please let me see all the details of my codex, my paper codex uh, on this app. So just to take a look at what your army is supposed to look like and what it can do, you're talking some serious uh, monetary commitment. But, you know, that's also part of Games Workshop. At any rate, my objective here is to give you a good idea of what the app, excuse me, of what the app looks like, how it works, uh, what you can do with it, how buggy is it or is it not. Um, I mean, I think it's in a decent shape uh, and it has pretty good functionality so far. There's a couple of gaps missing, um, but by and large, uh, it's a working app. Uh, I'm not going to compare it to Battlescribe. I understand that that's, that's an app that is also out there that might help you do the very same thing that this app does. Uh, there might be some issues with intellectual property. I don't know what the you know I don't know what the deal is with them. Like maybe it's licensed. I have no idea. Um, so you know I won't compare it to that platform. I don't have the knowledge base uh, to make a decent comparison, so I'm not going to waste your time. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know what I'm talking about. I, I can do that in other ways. Uh, I also won't make a value judgment about whether or not this is worth $5 a month. Um, I can make that value judgment for myself. I know where I land, uh, but that decision is uh, its a personal one. It depends on you know where you're at and the value that you find that this extracts, you could just build your army list on paper. You know, you buy the codex and you keep note of everything you have and everything, all the war gear options, and that's it. Um, you could come up with a little spreadsheet um, uh, and you know have all your points model, uh, points values, and stuff like that. Um, in fact, I almost went that way, and I might still. I don't know that I'm going to keep five dollars a month coming out of my bank account in perpetuity. I don't know. Oh, right. No value judgment. <laughs> Make up your own mind. Uh, I have my opinions. Uh, the point is you have some options if you don't want to go this way. It's up to you which way uh, to go. But if you're curious, then watch what, what follows. Um, it switches between uh, widescreen and vertical screen. I apologize in advance. Uh, it, the app isn't really configured to work well in widescreen. Uh, and so I had to record what was happening on my phone onto my laptop and it just so it, it didn't work really well i don't know if there's a workaround and i don't know that you can get the app on a desktop where you can have your normal resolution so um i did the best i could i haven't seen anyone try the horizontal orientation so bear with me it's not that long and you kind of uh, fast forward some of the bits that are more boring uh, anyway Enjoy, guys. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm probably the wrong person to ask, but I might be able to find out for you. So leave some comments if you'd like. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. So here is the Warhammer 40k app. I've opened it up, and before we get much further, I should just indicate that I have registered both my Space Marines Codex and my Death Watch Supplement, so all the information that is in here is as a result of that. Uh, if I tried to do other, if I tried to do um, you know, other armies like Blood Angels or Dark Angels, uh, that really wouldn't work. I could still add some stuff, but uh, all the 
information that I really need is going to be uh, missing. So uh, I'm going to focus on the Death Watch since this is going to be kind of an attempt to catalog uh, the figures that I have on hand. I'm going to try to field the 2000 point army. I suspect I'm not going to get anywhere near that, but let's just see what I've got and uh, at the same time uh, review the application itself. So I'm going to start by building a test army. Test death watch list test zero one. Second. Okay, this is my second list. Uh, I actually attempted a video just like this a few weeks back, but I just didn't like the quality. There was a couple of bugs, and so um, I kind of scrapped all that footage, and I'm trying this again. Uh, hopefully by now we have a few bug fixes. Uh, so choose my army. I'm in the Imperium. Oh, well, look at that. Uh, this is my initial list. Let's get rid of that. All right. So, uh, if you're trying this for the first time, here's what that would look like. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this again, but okay. Oh, I know what it did. So it's grand tournament and this thing scrolls really fast uh, i'm using my laptop to kind of record this audio anyway strike force 2000 points and imperium all right that should do it so click on it and i see here's how many points i have left uh, the command points that I have and I'm going to just choose the, the basic detachment right so uh, it's going to be the patrol detachment this is something I know for sure I can build uh, and it has the benefit of um, giving me a decent amount of command points Actually, no, this is the battalion detachment. That's the one I want. Yeah, this would be nice, uh, but I don't know how you do this. This many troop selections, elites, fast attack, with just 2,000 points. That's a nice trick. I'm going to stick with this. So if I pick this, I get three command points if my warlord is part of the detachment. So, okay. And I'm going to select detachment. And my Death Watch is part of the Adeptus Astartes. Confirm. And here I select my chapter. So it gives you a list. Now, I wonder, so if I select Blood Angels, I wonder if I choose this as my sub-faction. Okay, uh, I was hoping I'd be able to look at the uh, successor chapters, but it doesn't look like I can. So here's my team right here, but I want to see if there's an option for successor chapters. Well, here's Minotaurs, um, Red Scorpions. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it's not just the Okay. Yeah, if I wanted to make a successor chapters of the Space Wolves, I'm not quite sure how I'll pull that off here. Uh, I guess that's a question for another time. I will stick with my actual army, which is. Ah, here it is. It's the Death Guard. Death, <laughs> not Death Guard, Death Watch. A little heresy. There we go. So I've selected Death Guard. So now what I have to do is select my unit. So at minimum, I need two HQs. That's this uh, the skull right there. And I need three troops units. That's that little chevron there. Um, 
once I fill those up, I can add other um, other other units. Um, like I can do elites, I can do fast attacks, etc., flyers. Um, and so to designate uh, what's going to go in each, I have to press this little red plus sign right there. Now I get to pick. So I have a model for uh, Watch Captain, what's his nugget? Yeah, Watch Captain Artemis. So I'm going to pick him, because I know I have him. I also have a Primaris Captain right there. So I know I have those two models. All right, I'll go back. So you see now how my skulls, uh, my HQ units, have gone from gold to, what is that, teal, green, whatever color that is. Um, oh. So here's a bit of a problem. It's, so you see that stuff at the very bottom? Uh, I've, I'm using, I'm using this orientation because I don't like doing vertical video, but this this uh, screen doesn't seem to be optimized for horizontal video. You have to almost do this vertically. So I'm going to switch back and forth as needed. Uh, I hate to do that, but I don't see it another way. You can't see the other stuff. I had to undo my orientation lock. So this is what your screen is going to look like for the most part. Uh, in order to uh, customize this guy, right? So watch Captain Artemis. I think he's pretty much a. You know, this is what you. This is what you get, right? So there's not really a loadout for him. And so, because I have the codex, you can see here. You can see the um, his stats. Um, now, to the very right, you see the plus or minus sign. They're grayed out. I can't have more than one Captain Artemis. So it has its points value there, and the one to the right of the points value is the quantity that I have. Uh, so I'm going to go with loadout because here I want to see what options I have with him. And so he's got the Hellfire Extremists, you see the grenades, the sword, stasis grenade. Um, but there's no buttons here. I can't change any of that. So for Watch Captain Martins, what I see is what I get. I don't know what that icon is at the top right. Let's click it and see what happens. Oh, look at that. It's his data card, essentially. It's got his abilities. Keywords. Okay, that's neat. Okay, so watch, Cap watch Captain Artemis is there. Uh, my primary is Captain. Now, this is the guy that I can modify. Now, okay, good. So I can't add or subtract. Uh, I guess you can only take one primary is Captain. That makes perfect sense to me. Uh, let me see if I can confirm it here. doesn't really say that you can't take more than one, but I I suspect that there's a rule somewhere uh, that says that, because I was pretty sure you can't take more than one captain. You might be able to take more than one tenant. I'm not entirely sure about that. At any rate, my uh, Primaris captain, uh, it's this guy right here. And as you can see, he's uh, equipped with a shield and a sword. Uh, I am pretty sure, where is, so his default options are bolt pistol, master crafted auto bolt rifle, frag and crack grenades. But if you look at the model, even on this picture, that's not what he's equipped with. And that's, you know, that's not what I equipped the mind deed with. Um, so... 
So I'm guessing what he's got is a power sword and a relic shield. Okay, so how do I equip the relic shield? Okay, let me go back. Because that's not where you mess with him. He is, so that was the theta card. The loadout is where I adjust what he's got. So, Master Crafted Power Sword, I select that. And he's going to need the Relic Shield. There's no Relic Shield here, no Relic Shield here. So I'm guessing the bolt pistol, it's not necessarily on the model. Let me check. I went to take a look at the at the model and it turns out he has a holster on his hip. So I guess we just pretend that that pistol can be any one of these things. I guess like a heavy bolt pistol, a plasma pistol, or just your normal bolt pistol. Um, so there's differences in range. So heavy bolt pistol is range 18 inches, strength 4, AP minus 1. It seems pretty anemic. I think I would probably select the plasma pistol. Uh, Master Crafted Auto Bolt Rifle. Ah, here we go. Master Crafted Power Sword. Um, so this is interesting because so I've equipped his, uh, I've purchased his Master Crafted Power Sword. Uh, what does that look like? Strength one, AP minus three, damage two. Okay. That's neat, but you know what's not in here is that shield. So if we go here, the very bottom, I think, the relic shield. So I don't know where that 10 points is represented. Uh, so you'll see down here, I have 1795 to go. I've spent a total of 205 points, but that's not really true because my model has the relic shield and uh, that would put me at 215 points. So I think this is something that they need to address. Uh, you know, it's the, it's, I don't know if this is a beta. Maybe it is a beta. Uh, so it's something that they have to figure out. So I've just demonstrated how the, the loadout is changed on these characters. Uh, let's try for some troops. So we're going to, Go with that red plus sign, and so we're going to go with troops. Now I have a bunch of kill squad or kill teams. Or uh, yeah, here we go. And I think the kill teams that I have closest to completion are this Proteus kill team. So little gray box that I added the team. Uh, here it is. I'm going to go into that. Uh, so I've got the one watch sergeant, and it, by default you have four veterans. Uh, let's keep that that way. Um, so that, uh, let's do an additional five. So it's, let's do four. Yeah, let's do five. Okay, so we've got a watch sergeant, four veterans, and five death watch terminators. And so here, the little the loadouts get a little different. Let's check the data card, see what it says. Okay, so it gives you the stats for each of the units. It gives us the options, the weapon types, yada yada yada. Neat. Okay, let's start with the loadout for our watch sergeant. So you'll notice how the loadouts, they're not kind of specific to the model uh, here. Um, when you hit the loadout, it's the loadout for all of the unit, or the whole, yeah, the whole unit. So let's just stick with the watch sergeant. So my watch sergeant right now, 
Uh, he's magnetized, so I can do some, some swapping. He's got right now a power sword and a combi melta. Let's see if we can't equip that. Um, combi flamer, plasma, combi grab. Combi melta, there we go. Uh, so I'm adding that. And let's power sword. He's got a ton of options. Okay, so this did an update. So see here, he's equipped with a Death Watch Bolt Gun and a Power Sword. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the Combi Melta and the Power Sword. Let's go to the very bottom. I think that's where the Power Sword was. Select Weapon. Let's go back. See, it's not updating here, and I don't know why that is. Let's see if it says anything here. Every uh, dude is equipped with a bolt gun, power sword, grenades. I was pretty sure that you can replace those weapons. Okay, so it's this here, this very first war gear rule where the Watt Sergeant can be equipped, so the Bolt Gun and Power Sword can be replaced with up to two items from the Death Watch equipment list. And I thought that's where I got the Power Sword and the Combi Melta. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but okay. So we're still having an issue with this. So I guess the Power Sword and the Death Watch Bolt Gun. That's what I'll go with, I guess. It's not what I want, but maybe that's what I'm getting. Now you see here, the Watch Sergeant has a combat shield um, box. That's probably something the Watch Captain needs with his relic shield. Uh, so you see how it, you know, if I added that, it would increase the price. So you could have a combat shield and the Bolt Gun and a Power Sword. That seems kind of weird. Um, I don't know that the Swatch Charger can have all three. So, you know, there's some kinks still to work out. The Death Watch veterans. Let's go with the, these will be the shooty guys. And for shooty guys, I've got the frag cannon. So I've got two frag cannon dudes. And I've got, uh, what's that? Infernus Heavy Bolter, that's, that's the one. Okay, so I've modeled these after models I actually have. And they're built out this way. In terms of the Terminators, that's going to be interesting. So I have, I have for sure a, one with a Cyclone Missile Launcher and Storm Bolter. And he's got a Power Fist as well, actually. Okay, so. Got a Cyclone Missile Launcher, Select Weapon. Okay, did that work? No. Okay, for some reason, this isn't working. Assault Cannon. Assault Cannon. And Power Fist. Oh, okay. So it looks like 
you have to select both of those weapons. Uh, I don't know if my model has a power press. Let's just assume that he does. So let's change this guy. Pretty sure there's a cyclone missile launcher and a power fist. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that was the problem. I wonder if the same thing is happening here. So let's combi melta. And power sword. Ah, okay, there it is. So I was having trouble with uh, the watch sergeant, but uh, I realized that uh, the app was smarter than me. It was saying, hey, you're missing something, and so there it is. Okay, so power fist, assault cannon. Okay. So there you have it, my 2,000 point battalion detachment with. So I've got three HQ and three troops. What if I wanted to add a different, ooh, look at that. See, this very same army that I have, I could make that a battalion detachment. I could make it a brigade detachment. Wait, actually, that's, that's what I have. I have a battalion detachment. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay. So, I think that's it. Uh, so, we took a look at how this works, and uh, it's relatively bug-free. There's a couple of little nuances that it's still missing, but um, as long as you have the codex says, you can get a pretty decent um, control over your army list. And for someone who isn't necessarily interested in, in, uh, in playing, I mean, I am, but I'm not the whole thing, uh, it might be a good idea. Like, so here I have a better sense for what I can and cannot equip on my uh, veterans. So that's the consideration, uh, assuming that the app is right and my understanding is wrong. Also, it gives me a whole range of options on that blade guard. I'm sorry, that the champion, the captain, primaris captain. Uh, I could find one with a bolt pistol or a bolt gun if I wanted to. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have played with this. Um, if you have, I hope you had a pleasant experience. I know the first time I tried this, it was a little less pleasant, but I think I have a better handle on it now. Uh, and I don't necessarily know that it's worth the five dollars a month, particularly on top of the codex. Excuse me, particularly on top of the codex purchases. purchases but you know, Warhammer 40k, it's an expensive hobby. Uh, this is just one more area that you got to spend, and I don't know that you have to. Uh, I guess once you build your list, you can export it and then, uh, you know, maybe make a couple of different combinations and just kind of run with that. Who knows? Uh, but there it is, if you were curious about the app but weren't sure if you were really interested, uh, there's a look. And um, anyway, um, I hope this was, I don't know, enlightening. I hope this kind of helped you make your mind up about whether you want to try it this way or not. Or you can, I don't know, if you can still do Battle Scribe. I think that's a thing. It's an alternative to this. I don't know if it's free or not. And I've never used it, so I don't know what the difference is. But, uh, so there you have it, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, have a nice, nice, nice day.